Greetings everyone, Business Dad here and welcome to episode 14 of Insanity of Business Dad. Well, since the last episode I've been a little bit busy. Um, if you noticed, a couple of my resident caches, a couple of my caches here have been upgraded to resident caches and that's pretty much got 640,000 cobblestone in it and this one will start filling up soon. Um, as you can see, I've started to get that mess back. Um, some of my chests were getting um, quite full, as you can see. Oh, how'd that happen? Uh, I'm always pulling stuff out. So, the first thing we probably should do is actually upgrade some of these to diamond chests. Um, so I'll just quickly do that now. Just while we're here. No. And, yep, there we go. As you can see, I've got chests everywhere now. <laughs> okay... Yep, 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 yep. Where did I put the diamonds? No, wait, they're in here too, aren't they? No, oh, no, 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 I'll put them back in the system. Um, okay, so one thing that happened um, since the last episode is I was running so low on diamonds, it was not funny. Um, and I had no emeralds. So the end portal, the end portal was actually in Jade Cliffs, which apparently have a lot of emeralds in them. Well, I've already spent a good 20 to 30 doing some random things. So what we've ended up getting is, I'm going to need gold, is a few emeralds, which is going to help us now, and we've got some diamonds back. Um, some of our main resources, like tin, 33k, um, silver, 8k, gold, 2k, as you can see, we're not going to be needing much. Um, so oh, what I think this means is it signifies that we can start going on to the next step, is actual full automation and getting things up and running um, as much as possible so we can actually start enjoying what we're doing. Okay, yes, I just shift click diamonds. That's how little I worry about that now. Um, so basically, stage one in any world is obviously getting resource collection going. I think that was the wrong chest. No, that's cool, that's cool. Actually, that's kind of a random chest. A lot of these, if you look, if they've just got the blame pipe there, they're the actual basic logistics pipe. And you can't actually request anything out of them. That's why those ones up there, those are the request pipes. As you can see, we've got lapis container. I've moved them because when I put them down here, I could not actually open the chest. And that needs a diamond one too. Mm -hmm. No need to worry about that one. Alright, let's grab some more diamonds. One, two. Come on, come on. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to make some new tools. And I guarantee you're going to scream when you see how we're going to go about this. However, um, the end results will be quite significant. So as you can see, we've got our Aluminite pickaxe, which is good. It's quite fast. And we've got our alum Alumite rapier. So in between the last episode and this one, I actually had a few quarries up and running. As you can tell, I actually have two in my backpack now. Um, I had run of them run one of them running in the nether and it failed quite hard. Um, I did it a bit too high, the um, bedrock got in the way of the miner which caused big problems with the water going through um, and getting rid of the lava etc 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 etc. Obviously it wasn't water, there's blood which is added by um, biomes are plenty, which actually works as water in the nether. Um, and basically, I was after Ardite, I didn't get much, I've only actually got six left. However, okay, you're sitting down, you need to, because I know you're going to scream when you see this. Yes, that is a manulin head with three pieces of paper. So, the entire durability of the weapon is going to be 1134. That's not going to be able to do much at all. However, the modifiers and what we're going to do is what's going to matter. So, we're going to call this the Business Hammer 2000. And there we go. Now, that is a serious hammer. Alright, so, what are we going to put on this? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, we've got Residence Flux flux capacitors here. So that's where our durability is going to come from. So we'll come, uh, no, this one here. Yep. So we put the hammer on here 
in the flux capacitor we use one modifier but we have a 10 million RF um, backup now okay so what we need to do is add some modifiers in so what that is one of the mod to add an extra modifier one of them is um, one diamond and a block of gold oh I hope we got enough gold uh oh <laughs> okay so nine gold and we need diamonds okay and we'll need ten of those and oh god what's a golden apple damn it okay geo golden apple double click I hate the yellow it slows us down is an apple and oh I should need another nine pieces of gold so they are quite expensive however these modifier adding these extra modifiers on um, is going to make this quite an insane axe and you'll see that as soon as we get going I didn't request the um, apple did I naughty me and I think that was our last one uh oh I'm gonna have to go and s eventually set up that farm I've been <laughs> working on okay as I said one block of gold and one block of diamonds so those that is going to add two modifiers I think we can add four or up and I'm having a brain fart I know one of them is a nether star which I don't have at the moment um, and oh actually just hold on one sec I'll be right back okay yep we're back so I was correct there's only three modifiers one of them is a diamond and a gold block so if we put our tool in Oh, no, 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 not that one. If we put the business hammer in there with a diamond and a gold block. Modifiers remaining. Wait a second. Ah, modifiers remaining with five. Okay. Modifiers remaining six. And if we throw in the golden apple and the diamond block, modif... Wait a second. One gold and apple... Oh, uh oh, the wrong golden apple. Okay, please, please have an apple somewhere. I was eating apples. What happened to them all? Uh oh, I think I ate them. That's going to be a problem, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can live with that. Okay, let's just quickly check the chests because I know I dump quite a lot very quickly. Oh, steak. I know I'll go looking for that and not find it. And beautiful. So, another thing that happened in between the episodes. I started up the quarry in the nether. And I lost power. That's right. I, and then, I went and turned the reactor up to full power. Actually... Uh oh. I think it's still at full power. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I think I've just gone through a crap ton of um, reactor fuels because of that. Yep. Damn it. That's okay. We can live with that. So if we put these in here, there we go. If you noticed, I've got the Tesseract up. So in the end of the last episode, I said we'll use the Tesseract to power the farms and do all that type of stuff. Um, I tried using it on the quarry in the nether and it just started pulling every single ounce of power out of the system. This completely drained. And I lost lights upstairs and then I started having zombies and skeletons spawning inside which is not good. If you notice I've also got a resident energy cell. I've actually been going through enderpels quite a lot. I've also got the wireless charger. That is awesome. So what happens is, is if you've got anything that uses flux or energy, when you're within a certain distance, it will actually charge for you. And I'll put these in. These are awesome. Elevators. Um, don't have to go up and down the escalators anymore. Okay, so one thing we wanted was Lapis, L-A-P. See, we're getting a ton of them now. 450 is how much we can put on one weapon. And we're going to want red stone. So we'll grab a metric crap ton of that. And we'll grab three of those. Beautiful. 
So we're about to go on one hell of a spree on our weapon. So what we want to do is get the bonuses on there, quite obviously. And then we'll work on um, getting everything else up and running. So, yep, so the lapis goes on and then we're just going to put redstone and redstone and more 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 redstone. Basically the idea is, is at the end we're going to have that much on there. It should be able to kill anything in pretty much one hit. Which is where we want to be. Okay. Beautiful. There we go. And do the same with the redstone. So this is going to take a little while. Well, hopefully not. Redstone's a bit different though in the way it works because it's 50 and then it's a bonus okay so what we want to do is keep a little pile of that together take you and we'll take you so what we're going to need is oh still more I'm not sure if, um, if I've gone overkill or not however I'll show you how to do this correctly otherwise you're just going to be sitting there shift clicking a lot and that's obviously not what you want okay so the first thing we want to do business hammer is put the lapis in so we just do this we can because we've got the crafting table next to the tinkerer's table with the sorry the tool forge we can now do it this way which is brilliant boom 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 so what we're going to have is one hell of a tinkerer's weapon oh there we go a full 450 lapis on there looting three fortune three okay now time for the redstone okay one that's 45 and then it's three okay that's not gonna work Damn it. So that's 50. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then it's f 6 blocks and 5 pow red powders. So 5 red powders and 6 blocks, wasn't it? No, 5 blocks then 5 powders. So as you can see we are burning through the modifiers right now um, but that doesn't matter. What we want is speed on this hammer and nothing else. 5 blocks, 1 modifier remaining. So mining speed 20, 34 wow, just wow 35 you got to admit that is one hell of a mining speed on there. Alright, so do you want to see how fast this goes? The Business Hammer 2000. Okay, one other thing to note is I've got two more resident flux capacitors in my inventory. Um, what they'll do is when you activate them, they will hold any items um, in your inventory that need ch charging. Whoops. I just jumped off. Did something just... Oh, God damn skeletons! <laughs> damn it. I thought I'm so used to just jumping off and flying, it's quite funny. Okay, so... Let's quickly go and have some fun, shall we? Come on. Look at that tell me that isn't insane you cannot tell me it's not so if you want to do any type of strip mining and the thing is we've also got looting three on this so when we actually find something useful um, you will do quite well so as you can see that has not basically you've got an uh, almost an unlimited um, charge on the hammer and if you actually have a look Cool. So what we do is we just bring this down here, shift right click, 
and it's now activated and anything that requires charge should be charging. Charges held items must remain in hotbar. Okay, so... Ah, okay, you just need to change to what you want charged. Beautiful. And if we change to the business hammer, boom. So what we've got is a battery powered hammer with insane smash speeds that basically is never going to run out. Pretty good for s considering we used paper on it, isn't it? And we can improve this one more obviously by putting a nether star on it. If it's not fast enough for you already like just look at the damage that's doing. That's just insane. Alright, let's turn the magnet off. I think the hammer might be draining the magnet. Or does the magnet actually use power? That's not really going to help, is it? Alright. So that four pieces of coal off three coal blocks. That's okay, it's not bad. Not the best, but that's what looting and fortune does for you though. Okay, so the next thing we're going to have to do um, is obviously, um, I will need to do the rest of my tools and I will go ahead and do that. And... Hey, that didn't do, that wasn't too bad on the damage. What? Do, huh, it only does three, three damage, six hearts all up. That's interesting. Um, so as I was saying, I had some serious power issues when I started up the quarry. So my solution to that was um, building an ender quarry. Oh, what this time? Oh, crappity crap that. Uh, I should probably take to the air. And... Oh, ha, 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 ha. Where's the rapier? Where's the rapier? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, beautiful. And away we go, because we need to eat something. Let's get rid of this cobblestone, obviously. Um, I've also made a digger's backpack and a miner's backpack. Um, obviously, for a hammer like that, the miner's back, the digger's backpack is going to fill up like there's no tomorrow. Oh, that's right. We've still got two more modifiers to go, don't we? Because... Let's see if I can do this mid-air. Yep, there we go. Um, I made the wrong golden apple. I made the wrong golden apple by the looks of it. Which is quite interesting. See, ladies and gentlemen, with the flux capacitor, resident flux capacitor, you're never going to run out of energy. Okay, so you can see I've got some new landmarks. A waypoint set up. EQ2 for Ender Quarry 2. Slash marker 1. So I've got three markers set up. And I've just got four windmills going at the moment. It's going nauseously slow. Now... If I go and set up my little, little tesseract somewhere... Oh no! Oh, I keep forgetting to eat, don't I? I wonder I die so much. Okay... Let's turn back into business, Dad. We do have the room here. In case you're wondering, I've already... No, it wasn't that one. Is it this one? Yep, there we go. And we have the... So if I... Mm, uh oh. Item conduit. I put them away. I put them away. Okay. Does the Tesseract work if you put it right next to something? So if I actually do that, do you think it will actually work? I don't know. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? Okay. I've already killed the spawner underneath that, just for reference, in case you're wondering why I'm not worrying being out here at night time. Okay, I need a block to stand on. I don't know. Let's <laughs> use a redstone block. <laughs> I've got a chunk loader here. Okay, so if we have a look, 
what I'm going to do is get my wrench out and I'm just going to break that power conduit and let's and the test rack is still powering it. That that's good. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, so I'm going to put that back. It's going quite slow at the moment. Um, you'll see even with the test rack, it is going really slow. So at a full speed, apparently it should be able to do a whole column in literally, um, I think it's one to two seconds. What happened to the lava there? Um, however, it doesn't appear to be doing that. Uh, if you come over here and look, it is going excruciatingly slow. In fact, what is it doing right now? Oh. It's being weed. Oh, did it just hit the bottom on that one? Let's go back up. So... That looks really weird, doesn't it? What are you doing? So as you can see, it's, while it is going at a speed, um, apparently it should be able to do, I think it's five blocks a tick, which comes out to about 60 a... Uh, huh. Um, comes out apparently to 60 a second, um, which is a whole column. So that is not obviously going fast enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to speed up the end of quarry to know tomorrow. So at the moment I've got the speed upgrade 1. What I'll do is I will upgrade it to the speed upgrade 2. Um, but looking around apparently you can use about 1000 RF a second on standard. So if we times that by five, that's five thousand RF uh, tick. And so if we have a look, we've got the world hole upgrade, and we've got the come on no, end of quarry speed upgrade too. So if we go and have a look at the end of quarry, speed upgrade look at that power drain multiplier times 80 okay end of quarry speed upgrade times 5 speed upgrade 2 is times 20 and speed upgrade 3 is times 80 I reckon the plan for the next couple of episodes is one to get the end of quarry running at absolute full speed um, which will be quite significantly insane and um, basically full speed and get an ME network up and running because we're going to need that level of storage we're going to need a metric crap ton of storage all right so I'm just gonna quickly go home I'm gonna grab some items and we're going to do some flattening I'll be right back okay ladies and gentlemen just quickly back I found an apple in one of my miscellaneous chests so we're just coming back over here which I didn't really need to do but just wait a second where did I put my bloody ammo Oh god, I am seriously having one of the most dopiest weeks of my life at the moment. Did I put it in this one? Yes I did. I thought so. Okay, so we put that in there. Golden apple and a block of diamond and we now have one modifier remaining. So what we're going to do is put on more redstone. What else would you... Why, what else would you put on it? Okay, five of you as well, and now we've got a speed upgrade to 44.26. Now you got to tell me, that is insane. And I just had a skeleton shooting at me, I'm not sure why. Um, one other thing just to note, during the, um, in between the episodes, is I made a stack of something. And Deerium. So, I've got 32 out of 64 left. As you see, I've got two resident caches there. I'm actually holding a resident backpack. Um, I think I actually might have made more than a stack. I went click happy. Resident satchel. And I've got... Well, I had three resident flux capacitors. 
and I also made a resident leadstone energy cell. That's quite powerful. So as you can see, I've got the builder. We're going to go outside and start having some fun very shortly. Um, we'll be back when I'm ready. All right, um, ladies and gentlemen, what I've just done is I've just set up a quick frame, literally right next door to home. And what I'm going to do is just get the, build, the filler in and I'm just going to level it out. So the whole purpose of this is to flatten. Um, so I've actually got a flat area to build my um, nuclear reactor on. Um, I don't think I'm going to have enough room, literally, in the house. And I've been playing in the house for t so long now, I'm actually overusing it. So if we just throw the test rack on top there, does it work? No, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Why would it just work? That would just be too simple, wouldn't it now? Um, okay. So I made some ender energy conduits. And you're still not working. Flatten, frame, pyramid stairs, clear. What about that? Of course not. Wait a second. I know why you're not working. I'll be right back in a second. And I'm back. And the reason that was not working is because it was the one that I had connected um, to the actual nuclear reactor, the power bank. So that was the one sending. Okay, so um, you've all seen the builder work. I won't make you sit here, sit through this and watch it again. Um, I'll be back when the area is flattened. Greetings everyone and I'm back. It's all cleared out now. I had a little bit of a problem with sewage over there which ended up costing me a life. It got me down to half a heart and then a spider jumped on me. Um, so what we're going to be doing now is building a nuclear reactor. I've just done a quick calc and we're almost at around um, 25 minutes for the episode so I don't think I'm going to have enough time to do a reactor in the video but you've seen me make one before. Um, however, we are going to go a lot bigger than last time, reactor casing. Okay, just checking. So, pretty much, resident cache. I brought two crafting tables with me. And while I was waiting, I went a little overboard on the torches. However, until we actually get um, everything set up out here, um, the torches are going to basically be critical in making sure things don't spawn at all in this area. Um, as I said, what I'll probably do is I'll build up um, a wall and I might do something like use glowstone in the floor or do something like the ceilings I did on my other one. Um, however, I probably... Um, I won't probably use powered lights out here at all. It, they do use quite a lot of um, power and electricity. And if something goes wrong, I don't just don't want things walking through. Um, they look nice. They work well. They're bloody powerful. Um, but I think it might just be easy for me to go and rip glowstone off the roof of the Never. And I'm quite sure you can agree with that. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly do... Ooh another row of torches just so nothing spawns particularly too close to me um, as you can see there is a method of madness here I'm just trying to make sure they're far enough apart um, well I shouldn't say far enough apart that they're actually extremely well placed so I'm trying to do that so um, one way to do it is when you hit F7 you'll see that there's kind of like a triangle um, when they're placed so I'm just placing them in the apexes of their which is um, just ensuring, I think that's right there, um, that everything's covered efficiently and we don't really have wasted space uh, or wasted torches specifically. Um, we'll just throw some down here for now. I'll probably go and mine down the cliff face so nothing can actually, with the business hammer 2000. I love this thing, just look at it go. Just, just with the last upgrade, that's just amazing. Can you imagine what it's going to be like when I um, throw a nether star on it and add another another round of redstone onto that thing? It's just bloody amazing. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to build a nuclear reactor. 
Um, I just wanted to just do the. I'll do the initial. Oh, I forgot the Eulorium. All right, one second. All right, there we go. The Eulorium just magically appeared in the box for us. Okay, I need to get some of this stuff out of here. Quite obviously, actually. What I'll do is I'll just throw it in the satchel for now. Considering I filled it up with useless junk anyway. Another zombie head. Um, zombie flesh meat. Flowers, flowers. Yeah, that will do for now. Some pigs over there. So, I just wanted to quickly show you the um, basis that I'll be... the base that I'll be doing. Um, I might look at doing five fuel rods in there. What am I doing? Okay. We're going to blow through these like there's no tomorrow. That only made one stack? Wow. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll put the nuclear reactor right. Yep, that's enough clear. One, two, three, four, five. So that's our current setup. Is five by five with a... One, two, three, four. Five with a fuel rod in the center right there and like that so that's basically our current setup so what I'm planning on doing is going fuel rod fuel rod fuel rod like that cool I'll just need to quickly throw a couple of torches around the immediate area so Basically, the idea is I'm expanding it. Like so. So it's going to be a lot bigger. Um, we'll have five fuel rods in there. And that should be able to seriously power um, an ender quarry. Now, on top of that, basically, it's time to get serious. And now that we've got all the resources, we're going to start automating everything to the hilt. So, once we get this set up, we should hopefully have enough power um, to get going. Oh my god. That is insane. One, two, three, four, five. I think we're going to go big time this time. And... Guess what? We've just gone through a stack of casings already. So the current one is one, two... We've got it three, so that's only one higher than the current one. Actually, let's go... I reckon we should go a little bit higher. Maybe we should make it a proper square. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So one more high. And we need another stack of you guys. And we need another stack of you. I might need to make more graphite bars. If this is how fast we're going to be going through them. Uh, zombie, 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 zombie. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 bye. Okay, one. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven. What do you think? Should we make it that high? It is going to be one. This better have some serious power over our current one. I'll tell you that. Aye. So what I'll do is I'll just do the outline of this. Let's chop these down. I wonder if the diahem will work on those. Oh yeah. Now that's great for building mistakes. So that is going to be one hell of a nuclear reactor. Um, I don't think, to be honest, I don't think I'll bother doing glass, um, except on maybe, um, the front. Because I will, f I could maybe fill it with Enderium, um, but I'm not sure if I've actually got that much enough to do that just yet. Oh my god, I didn't go high enough. Doesn't matter. I said I was... <sighs> God, do the casing outside like so, and I'll probably need to make a bloody elevator just to get it up and running, <laughs> to, to get to the top of it to control it, 
So what I'll probably also do is maybe do two or three output ports. Wow, that's just... That's going to be a big reactor. And... Uh, goddamn creepers. And I really need to get those walls up and running. So at the beginning of the next episode, what we'll do is we'll have a working nuclear reactor, hopefully. And um, we'll start working on an ME network. So during this episode next, I'll probably make an inscriber machine and start getting... Um, working on building some of the basic chipsets. They do take a while. Um, it's tedious work to start with and until we get some um, automation stuff going um, we'll have to do them all manually by hand. We don't need you there. Basically, okay, so one of you goes... Oh man! So one, two, so the outside should be right like that. Come on, I just want to... So it should be three by three on the inside. With one there, one there, one there, and one there. So that's going to be the con nuclear control rods. So that's basically going to be our design. And I hope I brought enough iron. Because I didn't plan on... I was going to make it the same height as the last one, but then I thought, nah, that's going to be a waste. So there's going to be five fuel rods in there, and the current one is three high, and this will be five high. So we're going from, what, three to five by five. So that's going to be 25 rods, three to 25 rods. So hopefully this will improve our power situation quite significantly. However, I do have this issue that um, I might not have enough yellow rain bars to keep the bloody thing running. Alright, well anyway, you know the plans for our next um, episode, and um, I'm gonna let you guys go here, and I'll see you um, shortly. This is Business Dad signing off, and it's time to get insane. Good night.